I'd like to add some code to print uh, the addresses on my screen. I'm just simply printing two of these variables um, on the screen. Of course, to be able to access to see out, I need a header. Let's build. And notice that this program did not compile correctly. The error message that I'm getting is right here, corresponds to this line. And the reason for this error is that um, the address of a double has to be uh, stored in a pointer variable, which is actually pointer to a double and not uh, an int. So this also has to match uh, the type of the address of the object which we are trying to obtain. So this is an important uh, part of a pointer. A pointer uh, remembers the location of an object and also it remembers what kind of uh, value it, it's pointing to. Therefore, it it's also is aware what is the size of the object uh, to which it's pointing to. This allows the compiler, the compiler to generate correct code when pointer is used to access the actual object. So let's build again. Uh, this time everything prints correctly. And notice that my build configuration is debug configuration indicated here on this uh, toolbar. Uh, and uh, my um, system is x86, which is a 32-bit uh, platform uh, on Microsoft Windows uh, uh, Intel architecture. So this is a 32-bit system and when I run it, just start without debugging, press Control 5 is a good uh, shortcut to remember. See that my <clears throat> program runs. And as a result, these two output statements produce uh, these two addresses in computer memory. So completely random values. Uh, let's run uh, run this uh, code again. Press Control F5. And uh, this time uh, they're slightly different. So every time uh, the operating system loader uh, places my program in a new location, so uh, the addresses of, of, of these uh, two variables may differ every time I start a program. I will run it one more time just to copy uh, a simple output that is produced by uh, my program and paste them as a comment to demonstrate. Right? So these are uh, sample outputs that those two output statements uh, generate on my screen. Now let me go ahead and change this uh, configuration from 32-bit, which is encoded as x86, uh, to uh, x64, which is a 32-bit uh, version of the compiler. I'll just uh, rebuild it again. Continues to be building correct. And when I run it, uh, notice that this, this time the addresses look a little different. I copy and paste these examples below our 32-bit version and you can see that right here the new addresses are exactly two times larger and if you count all hexadecimal digits in uh, the actual addresses that are uh, friendly character output devices printing for us these are 32-bit addresses and these are 64-bit. 
uh, addresses because um, this time I switch my configuration to x64. So you see that uh, this is why when we uh, create a pointer, it is not just a random integer value. Uh, it is uh, really important to specify this type modifier uh, that, that is uh, connected with the data type so that compiler can generate proper code based on our configuration to uh, be able to manipulate either 32-bit addresses or 64-bit addresses.